Hey. Do I know you? You look familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. You think I look familiar too? Hmm. Either way, what brings you here? You're probably looking for trouble if you came here. As you can't already tell, everybody's dying. These kids are killing everyone. It's crazy, isn't it? It's awful. It's full of so much despair. But even so, I can't help but wait on them. Well, I'm their servant after all. They like to call me servant, so I guess that's how I'll introduce myself to you. I have a question for you. Have you ever considered the differences between hope and despair? I'm assuming you're rooting for hope. In this world that's full of so much despair. The thing about going for hope is that it's easy to lose it. Whereas everybody can fall into despair. Very few can cling on to hope when things get this bad. Your family's probably dead. Your friends are probably dead. I mean, why even keep clinging on to hope? You know, there's these two girls. I saw them earlier. Kamaru and Fukawa. The thing is, they keep clinging on to hope, even though they've seemed to have lost everyone. Kamaru claims that she's looking for her brother, and Fukawa's looking for a pretty boy. I don't understand why they keep going. I mean, I have nothing against hope, but I'd like to see what's winning. I'd like to see these kids just fall into despair and follow their dreams. I mean, they were abused their whole lives. They're getting what they deserve. They're getting their revenge. This is helping them heal in their own sense of thinking. Do I agree with it? <laughs> I think you're asking the wrong person. People tend to say I have an odd way of looking at things. I see myself as a piece of trash, so I'm not sure how reliable I am. However, I know that I always have luck with me. And even so, I will follow what will succeed. I like seeing these kids' eyes light up when they think about despair and their plan to take over the world, to get rid of all adults. While I am an adult myself, I guess I should be worrying for my own safety. But, no oh well. All lives come to an end, whether it's sooner or later. So it makes more sense to live in the now. Whether you choose to fall to despair or follow whatever hope you're clinging on to, that's up to you. You're gonna keep clinging on to hope? Well, I'll root for you and if you win, I hope we can chat again because you interest me very much.
I haven't been able to talk to many others since I've been here. Night and day, I take care of these kids. They really are great once you get to know them. However, they are starting to die out on their own pace. Is it sad? Well, we've been living in a world of despair for so long now. I mean, I assume that it's going to be like this for a long time. Until perhaps the world finally comes to an end. You do know Junko and Ashima's dead, right? Even with her dead and gone, these kids improve every day to follow their goals. Junko, she was their mentor. Medi can argue that Junko's a horrible mentor and that she's a horrible person, a villain. Somebody just truly evil and filled with despair. And you're allowed to agree or disagree. However, you can't lie that she indeed made an impact on this world. I mean, look at what it's turned into. It's the biggest tragedy that the world's ever seen. We've had wars all over the country and in other countries too. And even this is far, far worse. Dead bodies lay in the streets. I mean, even more than just the streets. You practically have to walk over them just to get around nowadays. It's kind of sad if you think about it. But... If you have hope that you can change everything the way it is today, I think that's amazing. And I believe in you. I believe that you can do this. Even if we've just barely met. I'll believe in you too. I wish I could help you with your journey. But I did promise these children that I'd be there for them. I can't lie. I am a bit of a fan of Junko myself. When she died, my entire class fought for her body. Sounds pretty morbid, huh? I guess not too morbid with what we've been dealing with now. But... That was crazy. But it was worth it. Most of us got what we wanted. A lot of them turned into killers. Fallen under despair. But, who knows? Maybe one day? They'll all see the light and come to hope. Just like you. That's a day that I'm sure will come. A day of hope that will defeat all the despair in the world. Maybe I would like to see that. A world with hope. So I want you to keep going. I won't try to stop you in your mission, but I won't try to aid you either. This is something that you need to do on your own. Find your own journey and succeed. And if you don't succeed, then I must bid you farewell. Hopefully your body isn't another one just laying around. Because I do see potential. And I think that you could get far. Maybe even as far as Kamaru and Fukawa. I want to believe in you. So try to believe in yourself too, okay? Alright. I gotta get back to my duties. So if you don't mind, I'll be stepping away. But I hope that I see you again in the near future. It was great meeting you.
and I hope that we can meet again.